Hi, welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Bella and I'm a freshman at the University of Hawaii if you don't know me already. I'm actually about to move out at the end of this week so I finally thought today would be the day that I film my college dorm tour. What better day than today because I'm literally packing up my stuff tomorrow. So probably gonna be a little bit of a short video but I'm just gonna show you guys everything. I'm gonna show you guys my dorm, where I keep most of my things, give you an idea if you're planning on moving here or if you just want to see what the dorms look like. I'm also gonna film like a few other things in the building like the roof, the laundry room, the bathrooms and like the lobby areas. Especially the bathrooms are the most important part to show you guys because online they did not show you. I think it's very important that you see it because the bathrooms are nasty. So yeah, hope you guys like this video. If you guys do like it, subscribe. Okay, so obviously I'm only gonna show my side of the room because my roommate Carson isn't here to show you guys. So we're gonna start the door. Obviously this is the front door. There's nothing special about it. It just leads up into this hallway right here, which we're actually across from the bathrooms and the stairs, which leads to the elevator. So I'll show you guys that in a second. But basically that's the front door. That's pretty much that okay then there's like a little peephole that you guys can see out of too but we don't really use it and then to the side you guys can see my closet which you probably see it a lot in the back of my videos but this is where all my clothes shoes everything is at and so I also have this little cart that Sophia just gave me she just left early so she didn't want it so it's just like hanging out in my room if you open up these closet doors it's just a big wardrobe this thing kind of like shuts it a little bit more but you can add a lock if you want to right here there's like space for it but I didn't really find it necessary but yeah so here is the full wardrobe if you see there's two sides all your stuff and then there's also another shelf where I just keep all my shoes a bunch of towels beach towels and then I usually hang my bikinis right there and just like towels that are still wet and just drying and then down below right here I have a bunch of sweaters and stuff that are really like thick it would save me space to like hang up right here and then right here I just have more bikinis right here it's just a big basket and then behind there I have some workout clothes I don't know if I can pull it out if you guys can see you can see behind my dresses there's another cubby so it goes back pretty deep like you have a lot of space and then on this side I just have all of my pants like sweatpants cover up pants all of my jeans like my shorts like long pants skirts like everything so I just have those folded right there you can see like if I reach my hand back there's a lot of space so yeah I pretty much have you could fit like four stacks of clothes right there if that makes sense I also have these two really deep drawers I just keep pajamas in this drawer and then all of like my undergarments in that drawer um so obviously <laughs> I don't need to show that but then there's also some space up here as well I'll usually keep like beach stuff like I floaties all that stuff and then I also just have this fan up there because I don't use it um I just didn't really know where to put it so yeah, that's my wardrobe. There's not really much to it. That's just where I keep the majority of my stuff. For the time being, this cart's just gonna stay here because I have nowhere else to put it and I'm just about to move out tomorrow anyways. But I also have this little rug that I got from Amazon. I actually plan on setting up my Amazon storefront for all of these things. If you guys see anything that you want in my dorm, like essentials that you guys want to get yourself, it'll be linked in my bio and you guys can click on that because the majority of the stuff I got since I was moving from out of state, I shipped all of my stuff to the hotel. So it was all from Amazon. So the majority of the stuff here, you can get on Amazon too. But yeah, it's super cute. I love it. I used to have it over there, but I moved it right here because this is normally like where I get changed. So yeah, moving on from my wardrobe to my bed. This, I mean, it's a small room. It's a dorm room. Um, you can see this is pretty much what you'll see. It's not really the best and my bed's kind of like messed up right now, but we have a big view of the window. And so this is my side of the room. My bed right here. I just have a bunch of pillows, my blanket, more like throw blankets from home. And then above here, I just have three cubbies that keep my stuff in them. This one right here is, I like call it my pantry because it's basically just some snacks in here. There's not much in there right now because I'm moving out in a few days so I didn't really want to do too much and then right here is where I keep all my Tupperware and just like containers and stuff and cups and spoons shout out to Maya because most of that is literally from her but yeah and then just right here is just another place to keep bags like shopping bags mostly yeah as you can see this is what I've used to decorate my room it's just mostly right here but yeah all of these decorations pretty much like these are from Amazon these two little tapestry things are from Amazon this one I believe I got this from TJ Maxx I don't really know one of those stores like Ross TJ Maxx like those type of stores and then these decorations up here I believe I got that plant from Target and then I and Sophia got me this one when I was having a really rough day they gave me a basket and it was just a bunch of gifts in here and I just thought this basket was really cute so I just kept it up here as decoration yeah I think it looks really cute this one I brought this from home I believe you can find this plant at Target as well and then this like thing to hold it I don't really know where I got it from. I will look, but you can pretty much find that anything like that at like Target or TJ Maxx or anything like that. So yeah, that's like the majority of like the decoration area. Um, and then there's my bed. It's not <laughs> really me. Um, another thing that I noticed was when people were moving here, when I was looking at other people's dorm tours, their beds look so thin. And I was like, why does their comforter look so flat? But it's like, when you live here, you'll know that it's really, really humid here. The freshman towers don't have AC. So sometimes it's hard to be laying in a bed full of blankets at night because it just gets so hot. So I think I would recommend definitely bringing throw blankets that aren't as thick. Like this one's really 
thin, but it's really cute too. Just so that you can like sleep comfortably at night and not get super hot. Oh, let me just do under my bed too. And then underneath my bed is not really that interesting. I just keep my shower caddy, some more shoes, my laundry bin, suitcases, and then some packages from PR and stuff that I've gotten. Behind there is actually my bin full of cleaning supplies. Just everything else that I kept for like storage wise. And then this just little trash can thing that is included. And then over here, I just have this fan that I also got from Maya when she moved out. She left it with me and it's actually really good. This is why it kind of throws off the aesthetic just a little bit, but it works so good that I can't get rid of it. And then over here, I have my microwave right there and then my fridge. There's not really much in here at all because I don't really hear that often. I normally eat at the dining hall, but like there's a few snacks in here just in case I go to the beach and stuff. But yeah, this is not really like best fridge just because the freezer like, froze so much that it's like so small and like you can't really fit anything there. So I literally just have my headache cap <laughs> for when I get migraines and stuff, but that's pretty much my fridge. There's not much in there. And then right there is just like my, I turn this on. It's just like a little light to make it really cute and aesthetic at night when I'm doing my homework. Here's my fan. This is also another fan. I recommend you getting at least two during the year because it gets really hot in here and just having fans makes it so much better. Yeah, and then here's my desk space. I don't really like to keep anything up here because I just like it looking a little bit more clean and put together. I mean, you obviously can put a bunch of stuff up there. That's what it's for. I just like it when there's not much to see. And then this is the light that I got from Shy recently because she's also moving her stuff out. Everyone's moving, so she gave me this because she doesn't want it anymore and obviously I wanted it because my mirror broke a few weeks ago and I've been using this little mirror for like the past months or the past few weeks and it's been a struggle so I have a new mirror to use um yeah and then it's just my Stanley and my phone up here that's the only thing and then here is the view of our room it's very beautiful like we have been so blessed with this view because you can see the sunset at night I'll put a clip in here if I can um but yeah you can watch the sunset from here sometimes I wake up and there's rainbows in the morning after it rains like that type of thing and you can pretty much like see everything down below too they've been doing construction if you hear in my back of my videos a bunch of noise it's because they've been working on construction around this field for literal months like the whole semester it's been such a nuisance but yeah you can also see the football games baseball games softball games like I can look over there and see like is it really like what's really going on and if it's worth going to be honest um but yeah there's the tennis courts over there too and yeah this is just like such a good view and it's such a pretty view of the skyline so you can kind of see the ocean a little bit if you look over there you can kind of see the ocean but yeah that's pretty much it so yeah here's another overall view of my dorm room just before I go out and show you guys the other parts of the building and this is the opposite view of the dorm and basically what you'll see yeah Oh, also, I forgot to show you guys, these desks are really, really big. They hold a lot of stuff in them. This is where I just keep most of my bags, too, as well. And then I don't really use these drawers too much. I just keep some papers and, like, pictures and stuff in there. And then in this drawer, I just keep, like, my makeup, all the stuff that I want to be able to reach when I'm getting ready, just a bunch of random stuff. Right here, I just keep my electronics and then cords and, like, cameras and stuff. And then down here, I just keep all of my cosmetics, I keep my skincare, makeup, hair supplies, like, literally every other, like, beauty-related product I keep in this drawer. As you can tell, it's really deep. There's a lot of space um yeah there's a lot of options for like storage you can fit a lot of things on your bed in the wardrobe and in these big drawers so i would say compared to a lot of other dorms people have said that it's a really good size because there's a lot of space for storage and just like space to like walk around um but yeah i think it's pretty good i'm really happy with the fact that i've lived here for my freshman year just because there's so many good opportunities living here so let me just show you guys the other parts of the dorm okay so here's the front of our door our every floor has a different theme from the ras and then our floor things like a forest or something like that like it's been trees and like it's like that all around um but yeah we have like little mushrooms with our names on it um, for every single like door it just says who's living there um but yeah here's the floor everything in this building is like shaped like in a circle so across the hall from our room is the bathrooms there's two sets of bathrooms on every single floor and every floor has two bathrooms in it and this is what they look like on the inside there's just a shower a toilet and a sink um this is considered like the big bathroom because there's a bigger shower the shower but it's really gross like it's not like you as you can see i don't really need to say much you can see this the state that these bathrooms are in and this is like the cleanest that it's looked so yeah i don't know if you guys even want to see this but it's really not the best um it's it's livable you kind of get used to it as you live here but there's um the smaller bathroom looks like as well it's just a little bit smaller but you pretty much get everything else you need it's just a sink and shower and then that's pretty much it and then across the hall there's another set of bathrooms that just like mirrors this but it's just the opposite so yeah there's a total of four bathrooms on every floor and then across from our room we also have the stairs too 
and this staircase goes up to the roof and down to the first floor yeah and every floor shares every two floors shares a lobby like this and there's just like there used to be two tables and a chair floor i don't really know what happened to them but pretty much that should be what's on every floor and then there's a balcony as well or every two floors sorry that shares these Our balcony also has a great view you can really see island during sunset it's so beautiful um yeah and you can see in down there is like the freshman courtyard area that they have like events at throughout the year and it's really nice so yeah and then that's like what the outside of every freshman tower looks like there's a total of four this is lehua um and you can kind of see diamond head in the back not really from here but like in my friend sophia's room like you could see it it's right behind this building actually so that is what the balconies look like sometimes i edit out here at till like two o'clock in the morning so this is like one of my favorite spots and then when i need to charge my laptop i go into this lobby area and charge it so yeah and then here's the other side of the hallway there's just another set of elevators and then this hallway just goes all the way around and then it comes back here so that's how the layout is and then we're gonna go up to the roof right now so i can show you guys what it looks like okay i'm walking up like the side stairwell right now the stairwell literally creeps me out it's so scary at night but we're on the roof now you guys might not be able to hear me because of the wind but i'm gonna show you guys that the roof it loops around the whole building I don't really go up here too often anymore but it just wraps around the whole building you can kind of see a view of the mountains the city and there's diamond head right there you can see it now this balcony goes all the way across so you probably won't be able to hear me because of the wind but very beautiful view and then over there is actually the laundry room inside this building so i'm going to go inside now and show you guys the rest of the roof okay so inside the roof there's just a bunch of seating out here a lot of people hang out here at night and there's like events too but for the most part it's just free to everyone you can use it whenever you want and then here is the kitchen it's pretty nice it's kind of it's a little bit outdated but i mean it is what it is this is the actual kitchen area you have a stove oven sink microwave and then a fridge which i probably wouldn't recommend recommend using this fridge just because sometimes there's really old stuff in here but for the most part everyone kind of just shares it all all this space right here and then as long as you clean up after yourself it's free for everyone so yeah and then also just some more seating okay there are some people in the laundry room so i didn't really want to record them but that's basically what the whole roof looks like and then i'm gonna go back down the stairs now i'm gonna show you guys the lobby we have reached guys so that is the end of the dorm tour hope you guys enjoyed it sorry i was trying to record the lobby but i went down there there's like a room and it was literally just a bunch of construction workers so i'm like yeah i'm not about to pull up my camera and record them so no i'm not doing that um but i did get a little bit i showed you guys like the fountain that i set my phone up in like one of my last vlogs um and then just like the elevator area and just yeah if you guys want to see you can also look at my dorm movement vlog to get more of an idea of like what the overall room looks like but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video so much and if you guys need any tips on like dorm essentials and like what you should bring what you shouldn't bring all that stuff i can answer your questions in the comments or i'll probably make a video about it soon enough or on tiktok too as well so go follow me on there and on instagram because i'll probably be posting on there too um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video sorry if it's a little bit short but i mean there's not much to show you because my room is so small um yeah i love you guys so much thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye